Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today I've got another 2024 GM HD refresh truck to show you. This time it's the 3500 single rear wheel, so not a dually configuration. This particular one is the standard Denali. However, it has just about every option package you can get to make it very close to that of the Denali Ultimate. So if you guys follow along here on the channel, then you'll know I did recently post a video of the 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 HD Denali Ultimate trim level, which is basically the top dog highest trim level you can get in the HD lineup. Well, this one is the 3500, so not too much different in terms of most of the interior and exterior elements, given this is the single rear wheel. And this one being the standard Denali doesn't have all the equipment of that of the Denali Ultimate. However, this one does have a lot of the additional option packages, which make it very close, but still not quite there. Now the standard Denali is going to start in the mid $80,000 price point, including the Duramax diesel engine option, which this particular one does have. However, the Denali trim level in specific is the highest trim you can get with the 6.6 .6 liter gas version as well, which is also paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission new for 2024. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time. Take a look with the 2024 GMC Sierra 3500 HD single rear wheel Denali has to offer for the low $90,000 price point. Now the truck in front of us is finished in the white frost tricoat exterior color and this one has the atmosphere brownstone leather interior. If you're curious about what the Denali versus the Denali Ultimate has to offer, I will have a separate dedicated video here on the channel putting these two trucks side by side and showing you exactly what the differences are. But anyways, starting at the front of this truck, you will find full LED projector headlights for the refresh with LED daytime ring lights and turn signals in this outer portion. The LED headlights are standard on every trim level for 2024, which is very nice. You have the HD embossment here on the edge of the chrome accented grille. And you can see all the bright chrome accents throughout the grille, the lower sections of the front and rear bumpers, as well as the wheels, uh, traditional of that of the Denali trim in specific. The GMC logo is finished in the bright red. And you do have the camera for the 360 surround vision camera system at the front. New for 2024 is a wash on a nozzle to rinse the camera off if you're going off-roading or get it dirty or anything like that. You have the paint match body color front and rear bumpers with the front and rear parking sensors, LED projector fog lights on the corners with more of the chrome accented tow hooks, and a little bit of a faux skid plate down below, which does look very nice. One new addition is the 2500 and 3500 badging here on the corners of the front bumper uh, along the matte black trim. Not exactly sure why they did that, but it is an interesting way to differentiate each of the HD trucks in my opinion. One thing you'll immediately notice is that this particular truck does have the body color wheel arch moldings. Now that is an additional option um, on top of that of the standard Denali package or even the on top of the Denali Ultimate. So this particular truck does have that additional option, which to me really sets off the truck, makes it look a little bit more premium and uh, is definitely one option I would choose if I was in the market for a truck like this. Coming to the wheels and tires, you will have Denali specific wheels. These are 20 inch in size and wrapped in LT 275, 65, 20 inch Goodyear Wrangler Trail Runner AT all-terrain tires. So a pretty mild all-terrain, good for on-road use, but good for the occasional off-road use as well. There's your amber side markers in the wheel flares. Up top on the front fenders, you will find the Duramax Allison Transmission 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel badging with the chrome accent trim. Coming to the mirrors, you do have chrome accent mirrors, LED turn signal integration here on the outside. They are gonna be fully power adjustable, so you have your power extension, power fold, power adjustment for the upper section. These are going to be auto dimming uppers as well, so all three mirrors are auto dimming. You have LED auxiliary lighting here on the outside with your convex lower for towing. There's your camera for the 360 camera system on the bottom. Backing up to the side of the vehicle, you have proximity entry on both front door handles, and here on the side, you can really see all of the chrome accented trim as far as the window trim, uh, door handles, the Denali HD badging, as well as the power running boards down below, which are an additional option on the Denali trim in specific. Coming out back, you do have the side steps for the bed, make it a little bit easier to reach the items inside the bed. One nice addition that they did a few years ago on the GM trucks. Out back, you have the full LED tail lamps, which are again, refreshed for 2024. They are a little bit darker in tint than that of the standard, uh, more bright red tail lamps, which I like, makes it a little bit more subtle in my opinion. You have the LED uh, reverse lights up top. Of course, your body color rear bumper with the rear parking sensors as well. Multi-pro tailgate is going to be standard on most trim levels of these trucks anymore. 
finish in the red GMC badging. With the Denali in the lower portion, this does have your full trailering hookup, so it does have the optional cameras, which you can buy after the fact, to hook it up to the infotainment system to uh, keep an eye on your trailer while towing uh, via some of the camera systems. So that is a nice addition in terms of the technology that they offer. But as a whole, I think this refresh really made the Denali and just the HD trucks in general fit in with the rest of the lineup considering the uh, 1500 series did get a refresh just a few years ago. Let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker on this particular truck so you guys know how it is equipped. So once again, this is a Sierra 3500 single rear wheel, four wheel drive crew cab Denali. This one has the Duramax diesel engine option for about 9,500. The Denali reserve package, which includes a lot of nice equipment, including the rear camera mirror, heads up display and adaptive cruise, the power sunroof, the power retractable assist steps, the white frost trico is an extra cost, as well as the body color wheel arch moldings. And lastly, it does have the fifth wheel package as well, which brings the total MSRP, including destination to $91,775. So take a look on the interior. This is where many of the changes did occur for the 2024 refresh. Starting out here on the door panel, you have a lot of soft touch materials on the upper section. These are gonna be a little bit darker than that of the Denali Ultimate interior. All soft touch with the dark accent wood trim, bright chrome that runs into the door handle, and some nice black and dark gray stitching throughout. Full power windows, mirrors, and locks with automatic front windows, power folding side mirrors, as well as power extending side mirrors. Driver's seat memory with the power door lock next to the door handle. You have the nice chrome grille on the Bose seven speaker premium audio system. Good amount of storage in the lower door panel as well. There's your Denali door sill plate. Coming to the driver's seat, this is going to be a full power driver's seat with four-way power lumbar. And you can see this one does have the atmosphere brownstone interior. So the outer section is going to be the darker black material and the inner section is gonna be the darker brown. All of it has gray accent piping and stitching throughout. And there is your Denali stitching on the backrest, which really gives it a nice premium touch as well. So immediately here on the interior, you can see a lot of the change did occur for the front dash panel with the new integrated technology, similar to that of the 1500 series trucks. Starting out here on the gauge cluster, this is the same 12.3 inch screen that you'll find in that of the 1500 series, as well as the Yukon and some of the other GM vehicles as well. You can control this here on the right side of the steering wheel. It has a lot of user customization. So I really encourage anybody with one of these to sit through and configure this cluster exactly how you would like it, as it does have a lot of information and helps you use the vehicle on a day-to-day -day basis. It does have a leather wrap steering wheel with the black accent stitching. This is going to be heated. And since this one does have the Denali reserve package, it does have adaptive cruise control. Forward collision avoidance assist is standard. It does have the nice Denali script here on the airbag. On the right side, you have your voice commands, your controls for the gauge cluster, as well as on the back side, it does have paddles for the infotainment and radio controls. To the left of the steering column, you'll find your electronic parking brake. This does have a two-speed transfer case, so it includes auto, four high, two high, and four low, as well as your drive modes via this knob. It does have a dedicated trailer towing via this button right here. In terms of the drive modes, it does have the same normal and off-road of that of the Denali Ultimate. Next to that, you'll find your automatic LED headlights with LED fog lights, perimeter accent lighting, as well as your bed lighting controls. Slightly above that, you have your heads-up display as well. So it's nice that this does have the Denali Reserve package, which includes that nice programmable and configurable heads-up display. Looking across the dashboard, you can see a lot of the nice brown soft touch materials with the dark accent stitching. You have your AC vents located above the infotainment system. And speaking of this, this is the same 13.4 inch HD color touchscreen with built-in uh, Google integration. This has wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM, AM, FM, USB, Bluetooth inputs, all the usual stuff you'll find in newer GM vehicles, Wi-Fi hotspot, the trailering cameras, like I mentioned on the outside, Amazon Alexa, and this one has the Google integration as well, so you can sign into your Google account to get the full functionality, or you can just use the built-in Google Maps for your day-to-day -day navigation. It does have a volume and power knob here on the left side, as well as a home button, which is always nice to have some more physical buttons. Below that, you have your engine stop start finished in this nice aluminum trim, heated and ventilated front seat with dual zone automatic climate control. Here's your exhaust brake for the diesel, lane keeping assist, parking sensors on off, tailgate release, hazards, traction control off, as well as your hill descent control. A Little bit of additional storage below that, USB-A and USB-C data inputs, two large cup holders, 
Here is your trailer brake controller right in front of the center console. So if you wanna rest your arm on the center console lid, it is very easy to control right in that location. Storage cubbies on either side of the front console. Denali badge here on the nice leather stitch center console armrest. Inside you will find a wireless charging pad. You can slip your phone in the front side so you don't need to open it every time. 120 volt wall outlet here on the right and on the left you do have more USB charging options in addition to all the storage space here on the inside. Up top you'll find a dark black headliner. It is not the micro suede that you'll find in the Denali Ultimate but still soft touch. LED accent lighting for the vanity lights. This does have the digital camera rear view mirror due to that Denali reserve package. You can flip that down and make it just a traditional auto dimming into your mirror. Here's all your buttons to control the camera itself. OnStar passenger airbag, LED overhead lighting, power sliding sunroof, as well as power sliding rear window. And this truck does have the home link functionality as well. So there is your power sunroof. Nice and large, it does open all the way back to the shade location, so it lets in a lot of air if you do like having a sunroof or just having the extra light here on the interior. Overall, a huge upgrade here on the inside of the new Refresh HD Tuck trucks. Now take a look at the back seat on these trucks. You'll find all the same materials as that of the front seat. So you have the same soft touch materials on the upper section with the wood and bright chrome trim. As far as the seating surfaces go, same two-tone effect with the black and dark brown. Storage cubbies on the back seats. I know that is something that a lot of people do enjoy. Seats do fold up for a little bit of additional storage space below them. But stepping inside, there's a look at the front dashboard, which is a huge improvement once again over that of the pre-refresh trucks. Out back, you will find heated seats, USB charging, as well as your AC vents for rear occupants. Cup holders are up top. And there are mat pockets on both of the backs of the front seats. There's a cutout here in the back seat, which does increase headroom quite a bit. Center armrest with two cup holders and of course the power sliding rear window as well. Now coming around to the bed space, of course this is going to have the multi-pro tailgate like I mentioned. So if you wanna open the upper half, you can do so. Or to open the entire tailgate, press the lower button and that will soft open the entire tailgate. This does have a spray in bed liner that does come standard on the Denali trim. Once again, this does have the fifth wheel gooseneck package for an additional cost, which includes your trailing provisions here on the left side, LED lighting throughout the bed, including up there on the cab, which houses your cameras for the rear camera system, as well as the bed camera. Another 120 volt power outlet here on the right side with your LED bed lighting. Coming around to the passenger front seat, you'll have all of the same adjustments of that of the driver's side. So full power seat with power height, power recline in your four way power lumbar. Here you can see all of the nice wood accents here on the dashboard. It does still have the dual tier glove box with a lot of additional storage space and storage up top. And as a whole, I think it's really impressive what they did with the interior on these new refresh trucks. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood, see what powers this particular unit, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. So under the hood of the Denali Ultimate, you'll find the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel. This puts out 425 horsepower, 975 pound-feet of torque through all four wheels as it comes standard with all-wheel drive and that is paired to a 10-speed Allison torque converted automatic transmission. So that's gonna do it for this video on the 2024 GMC Sierra 3500 single rear wheel in the standard Denali trim level with a few other option packages as well. So as you can see, the standard Denali still comes extremely well equipped throughout the vehicle with the heated and ventilated seats, automatic climate control, the nice updated technology, heated second row seats with all of the stuff back there. And really, if you don't care about all of the premium materials on the inside, the standard Denali offers really most of the same aspects of that of the ultimate trim level. However, there are a few key differences as well, which I will, again, I'll detail in a separate dedicated video here on the channel. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found something helpful. Once again, I do have several other videos covering the new 2024 HD trucks from GM here, uh, upcoming as well as already posted. So make sure to check those out if you guys are interested. If you guys enjoyed this video and found something helpful, make sure to hit that like button below. It greatly helps out the channel in these videos. Subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed and check out some of my content here once again, uh, not only on the HD trucks, uh, how-to videos, and also 2024 model year changes, uh, which are very helpful if you're curious about what exactly changed from model year to model year on one exact vehicle. 
So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you guys think the standard Denali is the way to go to save a few thousand dollars or would you rather go for the Denali Ultimate? Definitely curious to hear your thoughts on that. Well, all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed it as always and I hope to see you guys in the next one.